In this video, we're going to solve a system of nonlinear equations and two variables using elimination. They give you two circle equations. Uh, you can notice that we have x squared in each equation and y squared in each equation. We're going to use elimination to solve uh, this system. I'm going to cancel the x squared term. To cancel the x squared term, I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3 because that'll make it the opposite sign of the, of the bottom equation. So I have 3 times x squared plus 3y squared equals 147. This is equation 1. I'm going to call this equation 2. When I multiply, that's 3x squared plus 9y squared equals 3 times 147, which is 441. This is equation one. I'm going to now set equation two underneath equation one and then add them together. When you add these together, zero, that's 10 y squared equals, add those together and you get 490. Divide by 10 and you get y squared equals 49. When I take the square root of each side, I get y is plus or minus 7. So y equals 7 or y equal negative 7. Now I want to go back and I want to find the x values that satisfy these y values. So let's plug 7 into the top equation. So if this is for y equals 7, we would have x squared plus 3 times 7 squared equals 147. This would be x squared. If I take 7 squared, take it times 3, I get x squared plus 147 equals 147. Subtract it on each side. And we end up with x squared equals 0, so x equals 0. So one coordinate is 0, comma 7. That's one of my solutions. To find the other solution, I'm going to do the same thing, but with negative 7. So that's x squared plus 3 times negative 7 squared equals 147. That's going to be x squared plus 147 equals 147. If I subtract that, I get x squared equals 0, or x equals 0 again. So 0 comma negative 7, that is the other solution to the system. So I've got two solutions to this system of equations, uh, and the two equations are circle equations.